Now I want to take a look at the code. We just recorded this macro and when we recorded it we had absolute cell references we selected here and then we went down and selected here. We copied, we then absolutely selected there, then we used control region to jump down and then we used switch to um, relative uh, recording and went down one row. So we added one row. We went the first time we went from 14 to 15, but we, the idea was relatively we went down. So I want to look at the code, and and uh, there's a few different ways to get to the code. Let's use the keyboard shortcut Alt F8, and Alt F8 will open your list of macros. Alt F8, and there's your list of macros. Now this is a nice window because if you don't have a keyboard shortcut of a, or a button, you can simply select whichever macro and click Run. You could click delete if you uh, wanted to delete the macro. And the macro recorder doesn't always do what you want. So sometimes it takes a couple uh, uh, tries before you get the macro right. And so you need to know how to delete them so they don't fill up a bunch of useless macros. Also, you can click on options. If you forget to uh, add a keyboard shortcut, you can do that here. Or you can write a description. But here, with the macro selected, let's click edit. And that's how to get to the VBA editor window. You can see the code right here. If you scroll over here, you have your close button. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to show you a second way to open up and look at the code. The way to open up the um, VBA editor, regardless if you have macros uh, made with the macro recorder or not, Alt F11. Alt F11. That opens up the Visual Basic uh, Editing window. Now over here, here's our code over here, which we'll look at in a second. Over here are our VBA projects. If we were to close this, if you didn't have this open, you could go to View and then um, Project Explorer. You could use your Control R, Control R. Similarly, if you were ever to uh, use um, your properties down here, you could go to View, Properties, or the F4. Now let's take a look over here at this code. Actually, one more thing. This VBA uh, uh, list of, this is kind of like Windows Explorer, except for it's in uh, our VBA editor, and it shows us the various things we have. That's our hidden workbook that's always there. If you were to record a macro in your uh, uh, personal uh, workbook, it would be here and you could use it, your, that macro, in all open workbooks on your computer. Here's our project and there's the name there and it lists all the objects. You can use this plus and minus, collapse and expand just like in Windows Explorer. And there's all of our sheets, right? So you could actually click there, there's, there's no code there. But what we want to look at is our module. When you create a macro, it actually creates a module here. If I uh, double click, uh, it's already open over here, but you could uh, click on and see the code over here. Let's click, uh, look over here and look at our uh, code we recorded. There's the name, sub, and then the name and two uh, parentheses. There's our um, notes that we created. There's the name, there's the notes, and there's the keyboard shortcut. Notice these apostrophes. If you're writing code by hand, you put an apostrophe. That means it won't be part of the code down here. This will be notes, and it's always in green. Now here's the code. The macro recorder, that tape recorder, as we were doing things, was writing code. Here, the uh, first thing we did was select D15. Notice it says range D15. That means absolute. It will always do there. Uh, select that. And then active cell, it added that date that we typed. And then it selected that range. And then visitation. It says uh, in this active cell, we um, added that. Uh, select the range. These are all absolute. We absolute. And look, selection.copy. That means whatever. Uh, was in this cell, it copied it, and then we selected absolutely G13. And here it is. Here's the, go down to the bottom of the current region. Select dot and Excel down dot select. And then here is the relative part. Notice offset row column. When we originally recorded this, I think we were in row 14 and we went to 15. So how do you uh, get from 14 to 15? You add one. So that's what the app offset. This little part here is not needed. You could actually um, 
delete that. That's something the macro recorder adds. And then paste, and then it repeats. There's an absolute. Um, uh, here's an absolute, and then here's again our uh, go down to the bottom of the current region. There's our offset, and you can continue and see this all the way down. And so that's a little bit about how to look at the code that a macro recorder uh, records when you turn on the macro recorder. I'm going to close this, and there you go. That's a little bit about uh, the macro, the code we saw we created in our last video. All right, we'll see you next trick.